What's up guys, welcome back to another video where right where last episode left off. So it's like I didn't shut off my game on that uh, stuff, so, but um The United States and Intercontinental Champions are both the same. I don't know if that's some bug or something, but yeah, they're both the same. So apparently Dean Ambrose is cross brand, so either way we would have fought Dean Ambrose. If we do go for the mid-card champion, and we do go for the universal, we fight some more draw. But this is literally where I last left off. Didn't even touch my boy. Uh, this is after the handicap match, like the six-minute episode, because uh, it glitched out. I had to like restart, uh, restart the match. Not restart the match, but like my recording was lost, even though I did save it. Cause I, I do something real quick, but it didn't save. So yeah, basically I know I explained it in that episode, but basically what happened there was I went. Triple H was like, "Yeah, if you want your way in that money in the bank match, you're gonna have to earn it, kiddo." I'm like, "Okay, well I think I already earned it." Talked to Mick, asked for more screen time. He's like, "No, you're gonna have to deserve it." I told Todd I was cutting a promo. And then Todd got mad at me because Vince got mad at him. And then he, uh, I, I was put in a two-on-one handicap match. And that's from the way you guys left off. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. Now Caesar man been working hard the past few days, weeks, months for an opportunity here in WWE. And if he gets that, that is something cool. You didn't think you would, you could get away with last week's noise without talking to Renee, did you? She wouldn't be the best reporter I know if she didn't hunt me down. Well, you've been hunted, so get get on over to her. Oh god. Looks like you guys are shooting me. One second, y'all. Okay, sorry for that. I went back though. <laughs> now we gotta go talk to Renee freaking on. I look forward to this every freaking month. Yo, Renee, get this over with. up a big victory in that surprise 2 on one handicap match last week. How do you feel? It's it's like this. Those suits backstage sitting behind their queen and meta me what? Who, who, who writes this? Organized desk. Have got a clue. They do not get what kind of superstar power I bring to the ring. Oh, they might see the glitz, the flare, but unlike my fans, they see the pumping heart of it all. I need it to jumpstart the analytical analytical portions of their brains first with my words and then unfairly, by the way, with my body. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. God, when I he even asked me a second question, I feel hurt. I think someone's talking up on me with this. Oh, yeah, there's a dead man following me. So let's see what horrible of a match Todd has booked us in. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. 
He's backstage right now, no one? Uh, Mick. What are you, why weren't you at the fault line? Danger Bones like a bearded goat. Hey, thanks. Okay, actually, you could have at least said, oh, you remind me of a certain, uh, legend when he was young. Oh, God. That'd be annoying too, though. Yo, Todd, what's up? Gotta be real with you. Be real, real, I can take it. Your match was pulled tonight. What, why? If you put me in a tough spot here. The WWE Universe is loving you, Hotshot. And management, too. As if. Safe to say they want your head on a pike. Medieval. Jokes aside, management is bothered that you're talking about them so negatively. No one likes being cast in that kind of light. Unless they are heel. So what's the action here? Do me, yourself a favor, and tone it down. Sorry, man. Be seeing you next week. I uh, don't can I, can I like run in on somebody or something? I don't know. Oh, I'm just I'm completely off this card. Jesus. Oh, they put Heath Slater versus Cesaro, Fandango versus Dawson, Goldust and Neville, freaking Luke Gallows and Enzo, but they can't put me on this card. Okay. Like Triple H, you must be cooking up something for me, buddy. I just won that money to back match, man. I didn't even know it was that time of month, but well, it is, so. That money in the back, match my dreams. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to head out, man. Just give me my freaking car and that pile of cars that you all have up there. You're probably gonna have to ask, like, 50 superstars to come from the ring. You're gonna ask everyone backstage to move the cars to get me out, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, I need to get the heck out of here. He's only had four matches on Raw in total. It's two to two. He won two. He lost two. He lost against Big Show and Henry. He won against Braun Strowman and the group of um, Brizanga. Brizanga. Oh, your boy Dash Wilder, man. What's uh, was that? Dash Wilder. That's Dash Wilder. Yo, man, what's up, dude? They pulled your match last week. Lame. Yeah, I know, man. Pretty freaking lame, if you ask me, man. Oh, it looks. You look real tired. How do I look tired? I literally just got to the building. Oh my god. Well, at least you care about me, Dash. We're best friends, right, Dash? Yeah, we're best friends. Does anyone hear that? I can complain too. I lost my match. Uh, I couldn't see who that was. Oh, rich boy, I just kicked him out a few weeks ago. Who's this right here? Oh, that's, that's, is that Scott? That's yeah, Scott, dude. Scott. Yo, what's up, my man? I baked stuff for Money in the Bank match. He canceled all my pre appearances this week. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus, Scotty! What have you got yourself into? No, oh, Paul. You have a way with words, my butt, man. Look, look, look at you! You just see you on your phone all day! But I, I bet you 50 bucks, Box, and even on the freaking card. Get out of here. Do something productive. Manage me, boy. I'm more of a piece of Brock will ever be. Okay, Todd, what are you having me? Mr. Headliner himself. Really? I am? Not really, you're starting off the show tonight. Try to keep your match quick, alright? Got more important matches to get to. Hey man, I thought everything was cool between us again. Now, nah, still in cooling off period. Get me a mic, this has gone too long already. Your funeral, good luck. Witness pro- Oh, someone's gonna come out. I bet it's gonna be Samoa Joe. Or Dean Ambers. Uh, that's my bets. Unless it's like the authority, but I doubt it. Dude, I'm still thinking about that brutal uh, Shinsuke drop off the freaking trailer. And just right onto that freaking equipment box. Oh my lord, that was brutal. That's probably the, one of the highlights of the series right there. I got eight episodes pre-recorded just from tonight, and it's my first one today. Oh, tonight, as of, like, um, the 12th. Nah. Nah, nah, not the 12th. Wait, yeah, the 12th. No, today's the 12th. No, from the 11th. What's this 11th night. Oh, this She's coming out to the ring, though, to cut a freaking promo once again. 
Oh, no, I forgot. I can't skip that with that. I could probably ask the, for the world if I wanted to. We know there are plenty of superstars that have come and gone who do that. But me, I only want to be in that money in the bank match. Really, is that too much to ask? I'm not asking to win it. I'll focus on that myself. I just need to get in the match. That's all. What the hell is Fondango doing out here? Yo, Fon! Fondango, go, go. Do 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 Fandango, what the hell kind of business do I have with you? Well, 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 that's all I hear is pouting from your mouth. Is there a doctor in the house? We got malicious, perilous need for the ambulance. Oh, Fandango, those are five-year-old comebacks. Maybe you quit whining, you might actually start earning your keep here. But now you're just a bomb field without any accomplishments. I'll walk, no talk. Dude, did you happen to watch my two one handicap match? I whooped your ass, boy. Because if you did, it's about the fact that I'm staying here as I am right now. You will have noticed I kind of wiped the floor with you and Tyler Breeze. So maybe, I don't know why I rephrase. Oh, mate, you put a decent show of force. But I mean that word, show. There's no hot to action. Everything is carefully staged so you can only make greater than you really are. Two on one handicap match? Please, if I could see through what clever ruse that was, the W Universe can, can too. Oh god. We could always ask the WWE nurse who would be interested in seeing your money in the bank, but I suspect the result would be pretty sad. Like, complete silence sad. Cue the cliched rock cricket sad. Wouldn't want you to see you stop sobbing in public. I have a career built on trust. That extends from me to the audience and back. The management. When I get into the rain, there's a certain quality and performance that's expected. There's not even a whiff of that from you. You're haphazard, fly by the sea of your pants, and obviously only in this for yourself. Think of this scenario. Not my two-on-one handicap, but a three-on-one match advantage. Thrown into the mix that you would fail so hard, the Titanic would envy the epic fail boat. You drag your partners down with your worthlessness. Hell, I bet you forget who they were and pin them. Wait, do you even know how to pin? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. Caesar going well, out. What are you nice. doing out here except complaining? In fact, I've noticed a pattern with you. Whenever you have a problem, whether it's self inventor or not, you pop out here to air your grievances or whatever. You obviously aren't a man who understands the importance of actions over empty words. Let me give you some life coaching, Fondango. See all these folks around you. There are a lot of different qualities they look for in their favorite superstars. Some like raw strength, some like big sweaty dudes like Vince McMahon, others like charm. But as a foundation, they want their superstars to have self-respect. You should learn some before coming out here and talking to me. Feel free to go along with the corporate suck-up route. I hear that's a really good ending for them, I mean, not you, but hey, you can travel down there as long as you can stomach it. You'll eventually see that they won't find you useful for long. Hell, I'd be surprised if they do by now. You think this stunt matters? Nope. This place is electric after that. The that was a bad problem by both of us. Now, I thought it was good. good. So will we be in the Money in the Bank match? That's a question we all got on our heads. <laughs> let's see what let's see what Toddy will ask to say after that. Brutal, brutal, 
probably gonna be booked out soon. I'm on handicap match, right? <laughs> You have that match at the pay-per-view you craved. Spot good luck and good news. I'll say, finally some recognition. Bad news is... I got what I was after. What could the bad news be? Vince wants you out of the bill as soon as possible. So light on out of here and word from the wise. Don't run into him. He's gonna be right there at the parking lot, right? Okay. Oh god, I gotta get out of here. You know what? I might go to Vince's office to see how he's doing. <laughs> Oh, Alexa Bliss, do you feel bad for me yet? With the upcoming paper, you won't run like chickens with your hands on no, I'm not terrified to crush fresh meat. Alexa, why are you such a dick? Oh my god. I just want some recognition, okay? I, I want it to be like, congrats on getting in that Money in the Bank match. I'd be like, yeah, hopefully there's actually a woman's money to back match this year and Amanda's al almost win it. Have fun with it. You can win it. That's what I would be like. But she doesn't care. She's like, yo, if, if, you're, if you're not doing that, you'd be squishy like squishy meat. Like, boy, like, I know that. I've been in this company for like a year now. Half a year. I swear to God, if I cut another promo. I don't need to, right? I think this is week three, right? Yeah, three weeks this episode, guys. Oh, it's week four. That's even better. Oh, yes. Yeah, week one was that. Two and one. Okay, my bad. Yo, biggie boy. I have some of the superstars, man. I don't know, but that stuff rubs me the wrong way. I don't see how that's good for his business. Be kind, not tough. <laughs> I read that totally wrong. Yo, Mick. I th really think you're one of the top guys in making. Go make it happen. Okay, I see this guy kind of recognition. I want Big Show. You suck. But, oh, you're too tall. I can't even see how I can brawl you. That's depressing. Yo, man, Big Show. What's up, man? Speak with Todd M Mullen. Molino. I come. Oh, Enzo. Enzo, we the realest guys in the room, Enzo. How are you the same? Hi. Yeah, Enzo's tall, I think. He's like 5'11. I've dealt with so many haters in my life, I learned to tune them out. I've got so much music thrown through my own head, it helps to drown their sounds. Find your own rhythm, funk, soul, and groove, and just go with the flow. Enzo, you are a great man. Yo, Todd, what's up? Not in the car tonight, man. Oh my god, what now? The big man, Rich doesn't want you messing up his show. Look, I'm at the end of my rope here. Let me apologize to anyone I need to. Give me a long list. I'll give me a cool but uh, What? Who? I'll start with you. Work my on my way to Mr. McMahon. I want to take responsibility. Good if you say so. There's a decent way to stop mending bridges. Sad fact is, it's kind of damaged on at this point. I could try smooth things over some people, but I think we gotta let this run its course. But as a consolation, I don't think Vince wants you leaving like like last week. You can kick it here. So you're off to television until the pay per view. Oh God. Yo, Mickey. My man, Mecca! Tough break, what's going on with you lately? Understatement of the month. I want you to know that I got nothing to do with it. They've gone too far keeping you out of the ring. Can I do anything other than waiting? You aren't helpless or alone. They don't want you on television? Great, we'll put you on social media instead. I've already talked to Renee, she promised to upload a new interview straight to the net. That'll bypass your lockdown. Good idea, you're right, thanks Mick. Yo Mick, you hit me up, homie! Yo, Renee, girl, we did four, uh, we did three weeks this month, this episode so far, folks, I'm enjoying it, this is going to be a long episode, I'm not going to do a money in the bank this episode, because I don't know how long it's going to be, because I got a maximum of 60 minutes, the authority has bared you from appearing on television until your pay-per-view match, now you have to use social media to reach your fans, what's your thought on that? 
First of all, I want to reassure my fans that I'm fine and will be at the pay-per-view. I know they're frustrated with this non-ideal situation, but I'm hanging in there. So that means you guys need to hang in there, too. It's it's a poorly kept secret that I want that briefcase, but everyone needs to have faith. I'll get it, and when I do, I'm taking it for you. For all your support, your words of encourage, this win will be yours. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. So it looks like Caesar has to use social media to reach his fans. Clyde never had this sort of a problem. Looks like Caesar has a much less paved way into the WWE. Clyde went to a performance center and boom, he took off from there. He beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 32. You know. <laughs> Exeteria like by talking about a lot. Oh my god. Yo, Alexa Bliss, you got something for me this week? Yo, please see you guys. I swear to god, obviously, you're, I'm gonna get crushed or something. You look real tired there. May I recommend a coffee or two? Stay woke. Perfect song. We'll get your car as soon as you're ready. Yes, I'm done for the day. Your beauty shots is like a spider bite. It, like, I never had a spider bite, actually. But I'm assuming it's, unless you're poisonous, or... Is it like a... I don't, I never, I, can you even get stung by a spider? Wait, no, you get stung by a beet. <sighs> Alexa Bliss, you should have just told me I was straight up stupid. <laughs> Money in the bank, folks. Money in the bank. Next freaking episode.